the end here, I'd love to hear, obviously, hopefully everyone has a wonderful holiday, but 2024, looking forward to the next year. What are some things that you're hoping for in each of your respective area? You want me to go first? Yeah, poor. Yeah. I don't look the, uh, I don't like the outlook for uh, natural gas. Um, <laughs> really interested to see how this election cycle works out. I think it's going to be entertaining yet really awful for the country, if you will. <laughs> I mean, uh, work wise, I think we expect some leveling out. At least I do, but. As the ever optimist, as Brent said, I, I am, I'm hoping that, uh, renewables are going to continue to grow. I know that we're making a lot of strides there, uh, oil and gas. I'm, if it can stay steady, I think we'll be in a great spot. And if we can make it through the storm of November, 2024, um, we'll be in a good spot for next year's Christmas podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a fun one. Hey, I'm just hoping we have a next year's Christmas podcast. Anybody else? I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our goal, like one of our rocks and our annual goal should yeah. be make make it to a Christmas cocktail hour. There you go. Fuck. Yeah. So still be a landman next year. That's the uh, goal number one. That's great. Um, well, first of all, I can't tell. I can't believe it's already almost 2024. I mean, we're really just a couple weeks away. It's yeah. I just, it just seems like this year's flown by. Um, it's been a great year, but, um, I mean, ultimately, and we all want to grow, right? I mean, this mid-con area, we need natural gas to do something special, which I don't know that it's going to, um, no matter which way it goes, especially not in the next year. Uh, so I think we're probably looking at more of the same in the mid-con. Um, Rocky seems to be picking up a little bit. Hopefully that stays steady. I'd like to see that. I think a lot of people are looking. You know, the last few months we've heard from some of our clients and they're looking in other areas. You know, that's the first time that's really happened in a while. Uh, they're looking for other things to do. I think that promotes some, some, some good things for 2024. We'll see if they actually pull the trigger on any of them. Um, cause we haven't heard of new, new areas and new, new things that people want to do in a while. So that's always good. So hopefully that happens, but, uh, stay steady, keep keep our clients happy, keep providing them the service we are. And I think everything's going to be all right. Yeah. I mean, as, as far as, you know, what we're looking at here in Texas, I mean, <clears throat> we had a pretty steady year. Um, we anticipate, you know, that to continue. We're, um, our Permian activity is, is holding steady. A lot of little small things, kind of how, how that, that basin has matured. It's, it's just a lot of one-off work, but it's consistent. I think we continue, we'll continue to see, a certain amount of work just from the activity out there in the Permian Basin. Um, indications are that oil prices may tick up and that'll be great. That just promotes more activity out there for us. Um, we're starting to see, you know, some of these other benches in the Permian start to come into play and a lot of interest in that and hoping that that will stem some of the larger projects for us, uh, keep some, you know, keep some landmen going on some leasing jobs. Um, to natural gas's point, you know, we sorted several projects this year with a lot of promise and did really well. A lot of that stuff's just on standby at this point, waiting to see what happens. Um, you know, on the, on the alternative side of our business to Steve's point, I mean, we, we expect that to continue at least through the year. Um, you know, they've injected a lot of money into that space and they need to put that, you know, they need to deploy that capital. Um, we found our way in the, every way that we can, you know, service that side of the industry and, and keep our landmen busy. And when it boils down to it, that's what it's all about. You know, we got to keep our folks busy. So, uh, activity wise on the renewal space, we continue to think solar and, and, um, utility scale solar work is going to continue to be active in the state of Texas and across the Southern U S. Um, really excited about Dudley select title and some of the title policies that we've been, been working toward. Um, be great to get a couple of those projects closed this year. It'd be, it'd be a good, you know, feather in our cap to fire that up and actually be able to see it full circle. Um, the, the outside of the solar and, and, um, you know, wind projects that we're doing, um, you know, if we dabbled in some geothermal, people were talking about lithium, 
Um, you know, there's RNG projects, there's some pipeline work, there's CCS work here along the, the Texas Gulf Coast that we can feel will continue to to move forward and keep some landmen busy for us. So down here, man, it's a it's a lot of small projects and a lot of different things going on. But um, we're optimistic that, you know, the oil and gas side of things will continue to be strong for us and keep the bulk of our landmen working. But we'll also be able to continue to diversify and take advantage of some opportunities in the alternative space and some folks uh, continuing to be interested in that. Um, all in all, as far as the company goes, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, we've got some goals to double our output on the alternative side of our business. We think we can do that. Um, election years on oil and gas are always question marks. You know, to Steve's point, it's going to be chaos. There's going to be a lot of uncertainty. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a circus. <laughs> But I think we all are prepared for that and optimistic that um, the industry won't be swayed too badly by what we see there and what's going on there. And and that, um, you know, I think the industry has been the oil and gas industry in particular has been very good about being disciplined and and not getting over their skis with spending. And so I think they're all well positioned. A lot of people's stock prices are really good with all the mergers. Um, so we expect that. We'll have a year of probably a lot of the um, kind of post-merger work for deduct analysis and a lot of that kind of back office work that happens when companies merge. Um, we've got a lot of really good connections there. So um, a lot of stuff going on, you know, as, as a company and in our space and boy, it's ever evolving. And we think we're well positioned to be able to react to whatever comes our way. And hopefully uh, we'll have another steady year. You know, we don't have to grow like crazy, but we'd love to just be steady. I think steady is the is what we all want as landmen. So, back to your point earlier about the uh, number of clients we've gained this year. I mean, there we we've added clients up here in the Northeast that we haven't had in over a decade, and I think it's a testament to our longevity that you know, some of these other groups, you know, they come, they're flashing the pan, they go, but they realize that. If you need a quality product and if you need a group who can staff for you and give you, you know, that end result, you know, the, the long game is something we've played for a long time. And it, it's been good to see that in 2023 and hopefully that continues in 2024. 